morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Boston. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Tuesday, March 12th. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the weather report, then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, tech, and science. But first, you'll be interested to know, 31 years ago, today, in 1993, Janet Reno became the first female U.S. Attorney General serving under President Bill Clinton. A graduate of Cornell University and Harvard Law School, she was known for her integrity and dedication to justice. During her tenure, Reno launched innovative programs aimed at rehabilitating nonviolent drug offenders and advocated for the rights of criminal defendants. So now you know. And now you know what time it is. It's time for the weather report. In the Boston area. This morning, it's sunny and feels like 27 degrees with 12 mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 647 and it will rise again tomorrow at 658. It looks like we're in for some sun today with a high near 53 and wind of 13 to 16 mile per hour. Tonight, mostly clear with a low around 35. For all you beach runners out there, the first low tide Tuesday will be just before 7.30 a.m. with a high tide just after 1.30. The nearshore buoy at Cape Cod Bay reads 40 degrees for the water temperature. Looking ahead in the weather, it's mostly sunny on Wednesday with a high near 54 degrees turning cooler at night to around 39. On Thursday, it will be partly sunny, with a high near 60 and increasing clouds, turning to chances of rain for Friday, with highs around 56 and lows near 41. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning send you. In local news, residents of Salisbury, Massachusetts, constructed a $500,000 sand barrier to protect their beachfront homes from the sea. The barrier, comprising 14,000 tons of sand, was eroded completely within just three days of its completion. This rapid deterioration occurred following three storms, coinciding with the highest astronomical tides leading to significant concern among the residents. Rick Wrigley, who managed the Dune Project, highlighted the timing and intensity of these storms as pivotal to the barrier's failure. Previous protective dunes were destroyed by a winter storm in December 2022, leading to increased vulnerability of beachfront properties to damage from strong wind and high tides. Now on to sports. It's been busy in the NFL. Kirk Cousins has signed a four-year contract with the Atlanta Falcons, valued at $180 million, marking the end of his tenure with the Minnesota Vikings. This move follows a series of significant roster adjustments by the Vikings, including releasing key players and trading Zadarius Smith. Cousins' future was uncertain, with the Vikings not extending his contract beyond 2023, allowing for a possible quarterback change. <laughs> Despite a challenging season start and a severe Achilles injury ending his season, Cousins remained focused on his career and not solely on financial gains. Cousins' arrival in Atlanta is seen as a significant boost potentially enhancing the Falcons' offense and playoff prospects in a weak NSC South. His experience and consistent performance with the Vikings, where he achieved over 4,000 yards, passing in four seasons, 
add to the Falcons' optimism for the 2024 season. Last night in the NBA, the Celtics on the road in Portland beat the Trailblazers 121-99. Tonight, the Celtics remain on the road to take on the Utah Jazz at 6 Mountain Time. And last night in national hockey, the Bruins, at home taking on the Blues, lost 5-1. Miss passes and a controversial replay decision further compounded their difficulties, leading to a significant deficit. Despite a goal from David Pasternak, the Bruins failed to mount a comeback, with an early goalie pull proving ineffective. This loss reflects a pattern of inconsistency, particularly against teams outside of playoff contention, affecting their standing. Potential lineup changes, including Andrew Peake's inclusion and Jeremy Swayman's frustration, signal a search for improvement. We'll see if they can bounce back in Montreal on Thursday when they take on the 24, 30, and 10 Canadians. In top news, honey, maple syrup, and agave, touted as healthier sugar alternatives, are essentially liquid forms of sugar. Wesley McCorder highlights they possess more calories than granulated sugar, urging moderation akin to all added sugars. While honey and maple syrup offer some nutrients, their health benefits are marginal unless consumed in large amounts. The real benefit of these sweeteners lies in their unique flavors, which can enhance recipes and possibly reduce the amount needed. Agave has a low glycemic index, but its high fructose content could pose liver health risks if overconsumed. In business news, Ether, the cryptocurrency behind Ethereum, has been experiencing a significant rally, standing out even in the shadow of Bitcoin's recent surge to record highs. Launched in 2015, Ethereum has risen to become the second largest digital currency by market value, now exceeding $460 billion. Its rise has been buoyed by the U.S. approval of a Bitcoin ETFs, attracting new investments into cryptocurrencies, including Ether. Ether's year-to-date increase of almost 72% surpasses Bitcoin's 61%, driven by anticipation of a potential U.S. Ethereum ETFs. The SEC is expected to decide on the ETF's application soon, with experts predicting a positive impact on Ethereum's market position. Ethereum is also poised for a major upgrade called Dencon, enhancing its technology and potentially expanding its application ecosystem. With a broader range of use cases than Bitcoin, Ethereum supports developments like NFTs and a vibrant smart contract ecosystem. Transitioning to a less energy intensive proof of stake model has bolstered Ethereum, attracting interest through staking rewards for holders. Maybe tomorrow, we'll do a little side note on what proof of stake is. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is still headed to the moon and now over $72,000. Ethereum is over $4,000. And Solana is $150. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, We are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the Boston area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Canton, Wellesley, Hingham, Brookline, and Framingham. Just be sure to tell them, Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk tech. Entrepreneurs are creating solutions to combat loneliness, recognized as an epidemic by U.S. Surgeon General Vivek Murthy. In Brooklyn, Radha Agrawal led a discussion among strangers 
about their experiences with loneliness, incorporating meditation, and active listening to foster connection. Loneliness, exacerbated by the pandemic and the rise of digital technology, has been linked to various health issues, prompting a call for innovative interventions. The Belong Center, a nonprofit aimed at building community and combating loneliness, is expanding across the U.S., with plans for more cities and diverse initiatives. The center offers circles where participants engage in group activities to foster deeper connections with a suggested donation for attendance. Other startups, backed by significant investment, are also tackling loneliness through technology and wellness centers, offering new ways to connect and build relationships. The Belong Center's growth reflects a broader movement to address loneliness, with support from celebrities and business leaders recognizing its impact on public health and society. And in entertainment news, the super popular Netflix crime drama, The Gentleman, blends the elegance of the British aristocracy with the grit of a cannabis empire. At its heart is Eddie, portrayed by Theo James, who inherits more than just a title, but a criminal legacy intertwined with Susie Glass, played by Caius Scodelario. Their uneasy alliance forms the crux of the narrative, offering a mix of tension and teamwork as they navigate their newly shared empire. Creator Guy Ritchie hints at abundant potential for further exploration, fueled by a plethora of characters and plots swirling in his creative mind. While the series, a spin-off from Ritchie's film, concludes its current journey, the door remains ajar for a second season, promising more adventures with Eddie and Susie's complex dynamic at the forefront. Well, alrighty folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the author C.S. Lewis. He said, you are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. Cheers, my good friends. Have a great day. And that's a wrap for this morning. Remember to stay tuned tomorrow for more news and updates. Have an amazing day, my good friends. <laughs>